Okay, today we're going to talk about YouTube. Now, YouTube comes installed on your phone, uh, but we loaded up three different applications. So uh, that come, the black one's the one that comes with your phone with the black icon. The one with the rounded uh, icon was another one just called YouTube with a small T versus a large capital T. The next one we're looking at is the square icon with the YouTube plus spelled out and one with YouTube plus with a plus sign. So the first one is just uh, YouTube that comes installed with your phone. Now, as you can see, it's nothing more than Internet Explorer pointing to the mobile YouTube site. That is it. Uh, there's no extra features here. If you go to the three dots, all you see is the usual Internet Explorer links and things like that. Uh, really pretty poor. Now, you can, of course, go back to YouTube and use its built-in navigation. Okay? But what's the sense with that? That's up in the top left-hand corner. And you can do the stuff there. If you're used to using that and you like that, then, yeah, just stay with this. But I expect more out of an application usually. So let's go to the next one. That uh, let's go to the one with the rounded uh, white uh, application icon. And you notice see it has a search and it talks a little bit about info and all that stuff. You can add your stuff to the list and everything, and that's uh, not that impressive. Now you can have favorites down at the bottom and stuff like that. But if you just go over here, there's uh, those there's where the favorites and all that stuff are at and everything. If you click there, that's all it is. Uh, but if you go here to search, let's type in uh, kids, for example. Uh, we'll do that. Let's go uh, K-I-D-S and say, sir. oh, that's enter. So let's go, let's click on uh, search and let's click on it again. Make sure I got it. Okay, so it's loading up, and there's your videos. Now you can scroll and see what titles there are and things like that. And you can sit there and hold them down, and it'll say pin. To, you can't see it here, but it says pin to start, and then that's it. That's uh, pretty much it on this application and everything. Uh, again, not that impressive. So let's go down to the one with the YouTube with a plus sign. And again, this is nothing more than the mobile site from YouTube. They have some more settings here, channels and things like that that you can look at and everything. Uh, this, you can't see it hardly, but there's uh, some you know, like English language settings and all that. Oops, I don't want to quit. So, uh, but if you go back up there to the menu, it's the same menu from the mobile site. So all you have, uh, including by the way, I blurred out ads at the bottom, is the same site uh, with extra ads. And you have to still browse around and do it that way. Yeah, you got trending, you can go to here and everything like that, but not much different than going through it and backing up and going back and forth and everything. Not a new look or anything, not a new interface. Uh, same old mobile site with the new wrapper around it. The guy's throwing some ads in there. So I really don't like this application that much. And of course, that brings us to the last application I'm going to review. So we're going to go to the one that uh, I like the best, of course, for a couple of reasons. One, it uh, has a Metro style interface. If you look at YouTube Plus spelled out, look at that. It looks like a, a Metro style app or a Windows 8 app. There's your categories from YouTube built in, not using their thing. You can actually log into your account and see your favorites, your history, uh, things like that. You can see all that. So I think it's a very nice application for that. So uh, and here uh, we can sign out so you don't have to be in it all the time if you don't want to be in everything. But again, if you're the whole thing about Windows 8, you should be able to see the same things that you see uh, favorites and all that stuff, whether you're using your desktop, your laptop, it synchronizes automatically, and this time it does it through your YouTube account. And by the way, you can see the categories, most discussed, more views, which I didn't notice those on any of the other applications. It may have been there, but it was more difficult to get, get to, or at least it was using the, uh, the uh, YouTube interface to do it. Uh, so again, you can have watch later. So you can do all that stuff and everything, and still do the search at the bottom. I didn't uh, activate it, but the point of it is, is that you can do all those things in a very nice, clean interface. Uh, so my vote goes, and the one that's left on the phone is the YouTube Plus with the plus sign. Uh, very nice, very clean uh, Metro-style application. Uh, and you know what? Go to our site and put us on your favorites and subscribe and all that stuff, and uh, uh, we'll put some more videos up here for you.